Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. Pretty much at this point, we've got content going out every 48 hours. So don't stay stuck with your coaching business, right? Subscribe. And if you want to get in contact with me to talk about your, your soccer training business, then there's a couple of ways you can do that. Visit the description below. Okay, you can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we jump on Zoom. We, I can ask you a couple of questions about your business and I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale. If you don't want to do that, then send me questions to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Right, I make it a mission every single day to help coaches in our industry. So don't stay stuck. Reach out to me and I'll be, be happy to, to help you. Now, today I want to talk about how to pay your assistant coaches. So yesterday I was on a call with a coach who is in the, the soccer training industry and he asked me a question. He said, Leo, how do I pay my coaches or what is the best system to pay coaches? Okay. Now, there isn't a best system to pay. Okay. Now, it all comes down to a number of things. Right, it all comes down to how many hours your coaches are working for you. It comes down to what system you have in, in place to pay those coaches. And it also comes down to how committed that coach is. Right? Is it just once a week? Is it twice a week? Is it every single day? Right? So what I want to do, I want to share with you a a technique or, or, or strategy or whatever you want to call it, a system that you can use in order to pay your part-time or full-time coaches. Okay, So if you are, wherever you are in the world, most of the coaches that we work with and we speak to on a regular basis are either based in, in the UK or in other parts of the world such as the US, Canada, and we get a lot of coaches from Australia reach out to us. So what I want to share with you is a few, a few ways you can do this, right? So if you have a coach or assistant coaches that help you out and they might only do maybe two, between, between two to five hours of coaching per week with you, then maybe one of the best ways to, to pay them is as a self-employed coach. Right. And what I mean by self-employed coach is it's very simple. What they do is you might come to some agreement with those coaches and once a month, right, they get paid. So the way I do it with my coaches is basically the coach fills out an invoice of the amount of hours they've worked that month. So, for example, we are in September. So say my assistant coaches, they fill out all the hours they worked in September and then come the 7th of October is when that uh, invoice will get processed and that coach will get paid for the hours they've worked. Okay, Some coaches might want to do it monthly. Some coaches might want to pay their coaches every two weeks. Okay, It really depends how you want to do it. Okay. I like the month to month because it just it works a lot better and it's easier for me to manage. Okay, So that is my system. So the coaches will create their own invoice. What I normally do is I give them a template of how I want that invoice to look. So it should include what location that coach has worked at, how many hours that coach has done, uh, what was the agreed hourly rate. Okay, and what is the total amount for the invoice? Also included in that invoice is obviously the address of the, the company that they're sending that invoice to, their own address and details, and also their bank details. So this should all be included in that invoice. And that code should be sending it out at the end of the month. So the way we have it processed, or the system that we have, is... The coach will, re will, will send that invoice before the first of the next month. So if September has 31 days, 
list, for example, then that coach should be sending that invoice in by the 31st of September. Okay, with all the hours they've worked that month. Okay, now you have to have a system on your end to make sure that you're tracking the hours that your coaches are working as well. Okay, because sometimes coaches might add hours in that they haven't really done. Okay, so you must have an agreement in place. You must have the number of hours agreed that coach is going to be working and also the hourly rate that you are going to pay them for their hours. Okay, so if you want to do it month to month, the best way to do it, make sure they fill out that invoice. They send it to you before the first of the next month. So that gives you enough time to then be able to process it. At, or if you want to do it, bi-weekly, so every two weeks, it's the same process, okay? So if you want your co to pay your coaches every two weeks, then what I would recommend is instead of, so for example, the coach will track all the hours they've worked on from the 1st to the 15th, okay, of that month. Right, but that invoice has to be in mid midway. All right, so that invoice has to be in by at least the tenth or the eleventh in order for it to have time to be processed. Okay, so it's the same process again. Right, so that coach will fill out an invoice. If you decide to pay them every two weeks, okay, you might want to pay them on the fifteenth or the fourteenth of each uh, month. So they must make sure that their invoice is in by at least anywhere between the 7th to the 10th. So it gives, them, it gives you enough time to go through the invoice, process it, and have the payment uh, paid to them. Okay. So if you want to do every two weeks, you could aim by doing having the coaches invoice you the hours they've worked from the first of the month in between, to the 15th. And the same process from the 15th to the 30th. So that way, it's broken down into two payments. Now, if you start to get a lot of coaches working for you, and you're the one managing and handling the whole uh, payment system, what I would recommend is moving towards the monthly. Okay, Because the bi-weekly does get very difficult, and it might become a lot for you to track. Right, so... That is why I always recommend if you start to get a lot of coaches that you're hiring and you're bringing in, okay, then move your, your, your payment system month to month. Okay, have those coaches fill out all the hours they've worked that within that month and then send it to you before the first of the next month. Okay, so if you need more help with this, make sure you get in contact with me. A couple of ways to do that, visit the description below this video. Yeah, you can reach out to me with any questions that you might have about your payment system, how to pay your assistant coaches. Okay, This is something we specialize in. We help coaches every single day with their business. Okay, We've been doing this for a very long time now. So we have systems in place that we can share with you. We have strategies in place that we can share with you. And we can also show you some actionable steps that you can take this week to grow and scale to the next level, okay? So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.